Hi there, this is Jamie from Empower Network, and today we're going to learn how to do mail merge in Gmail. I'll take you through the process and also provide you with links to all of my resources below. If you find this video helpful, please comment and share. First things first, you're going to need to open a document in Google Drive, and I've got my document already in here. It's my test ladies email. And you can see that there's some information already in this in this document and I need to clear it because I want to start from scratch. So I'm going to click on mail merge up here and click clear canvas. Sometimes it's going to ask you for permission so you'll have to click through those couple of options and then you'll be able to get in and, and do your clear. Um, once you have that cleared you can rename it or make a copy of it and name it something else. So this is going to be my 5-4 video because that's the name of the group I'm sending it to. So I've got it named. Let it load. Now I need to the mail merge to come back up again. And once that happens, there we go, I can click on step two which is import Google Contacts. Now this is the met, this is the authorization we were looking at. So we have to click OK and then grant access. We're going to get a net, we can close this. And now we go back to mail merge again and step two. And enter the name of your group. Mine's five for video. OK. Now I'm going to have this populate. I'm missing one of my first names here and I want that in there because I'm going to personalize this email for each recipient. I'm also going to send it to myself, and that way I can see how it came through. Okay, in my subject line, I'm going to write, Ladies, I could really use your help. And the reason for this email is to um, get the word out about our ladies call that we have every day at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and it's our super women of Team Take Massive Action. So I want to invite them to join me and possibly look at Empower Network as an opportunity for them. In the salutation, I'm going to put Dear, and then this is going to populate with their name after that. Now I've already typed up my letter in Word, so I'm going to go and copy that and paste it into an HTML mail program. This is going to help me to create my email with uh, my graphics and my links and everything. So I'm going to go in and create that email in here. Take all this out of here. I don't need it. And go to my my Word document here and copy all of my text. Now I put the links that I need at the bottom and I did that so that I could just easily go get them and pull them up to where I need them and then just delete them out of the bottom when I'm when I'm finished here. So I'm copying that and I've got to do control V and there's my letters in there. Now what I want to do is go through here and after my little intro here I want to put in a picture of our Team Take Massive Action Superwoman, and she's really cute, so I want her in there, kind of front and center. And here's the link for her image URL. If I could copy. There we go. And then we're going to go back up here to where I created space, click on the image icon, and copy the image URL into that slot and there's our graphic. Now I also want to create a link here. So I'm going to go down here and I also have a copy of my link that I want to put in there. So I'm going to I'm going to copy that and then go back up to my image. Click on the image, get my little link icon there. Click on that, put my link URL in and insert that. So now that's going to be live. 
I'm also going to add um, some stuff at the bottom, my Facebook and Pinterest and blog and all that stuff is going to be at the bottom here. So um, first let's do the blog, which is this, this link right here. And I'm going to put it right up there. Image, insert the URL. There we go. Now it's awfully big. I don't need it that big, so I can just resize it right here. And that should do it. Eh, maybe make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now I'm going to, whoops, get out of that. And now I want to link that to my blog. So I'm going to go to my blog link that I have here. I'm going to copy that. Go back and click on that picture. Add my link. And now that's going to be live as well. Now I'm going to create some space here because I want to put my other links in here. So I'm going to put in LinkedIn and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. There we go. And then here's my um, link address right there. So I'm going to copy that, click on my image, click on the link, and add that. I'm going to do the same thing with Facebook and Pinterest. So Facebook, make that image a little bit bigger. Click on the link. Whoops, did that too fast. I need my Facebook link. Now I'll click on the image and add the link. Okay, I can take this out of there. I don't want I don't want a, any links hanging out in there. So these all can go away. Don't need that. Don't need that. Rid of that one. I can get rid of the superwoman because she's already up there. Now I've got my Empower Network promote site that I do want to make a little note down here about that. And I want to put that above my blog. So I'm going to copy that link and then delete it. Well, delete it when I'm down here. And then Feel free to check out whatever. I'm realizing that I'm whispering, I apologize. Click here. How about click here now? We want to call to action. So I'm going to highlight click here now. I'm going to click on the link. And I'm going to add that URL for my promote page. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to remove this link because I don't need it anymore. Um, I do want to add Pinterest. So I did copy that URL. I for almost forgot about it. So I'm going to put that after Facebook. Create a little space there. Image. That URL, we'll insert that one. It's way too big, so we're going to take that down a lot. Kind of want it probably more in line with um, with the Facebook one. There we go. Now I will get grab that link and I will attach that to this image. And we're almost there. Insert. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to clear this stuff out of the bottom because I don't want any of that in my email. I've got my name in here. I'm going to just clean up my name, make it a little more pretty. We'll change the font. Book Antigua, make it a little bit bigger. 
and let's give it a little color. How about purple? There we go. Okay, now this is all set. Got everything in here that I need. No extras. Got my graphics. Now I'm going to switch to HTML view and I'm going to copy all of this, all this code, and I'm going to go back to my email here and I'm going to put it in. If it'll let me. Seems like it's frozen. Okay, I'm going to put that all in there. Now we've got all the code in there. Now we're going to scroll down a little bit and just gonna hit enter. There we go. All right, now I've got to put my name in here. My email address. And then I'm, you have the option to BCC yourself. I'm not going to because I'm going to get a copy of this email directly um, with everybody else. So that's it. It's all ready to go. I will now send this by going back up to that Merge tab and clicking Start Mail Merge. And you'll see the status here change. Everything's been sent. Everything is saved in the Google Drive. Everything saves every time you make a change, which is really great. So you can always go back and find it. And then I'm going to go back to my email and I'm going to look for that email. And there it is. Okay. So here's the email with my great graphic. It's got the link in it. It's got links at the bottom, invitation to the call that we do every day, and all the links to my different ways that people can reach me. Pretty nifty. Anyway, there you go. Please feel free to comment at the bottom if this was helpful to you. If you have any suggestions for me, I'd be happy to have those also. And again, everything will be in, uh, in the um, resource area below. Click the button. Check it out. Have a great day.